All right, ladies and gents, we're going to do something a little bit different here, and that's spectate roulette. We're going to chill out, relax, spectate. We're not going to bet. We're not going to we're not going to try to scale up, make any money. We're just going to sit back and spectate the action. And look at that rigged ass spin. You see how it bounced off the damn number just to go to five? That shit is mad rigged. <laughs> Just like the other couple spins before I uh, started this video. All right, so we're going to play a little game of uh, predict where the ball is going to land. Let me test my skills. I'm going to say it's going to end up in the zero section. Better yet, it might be zero. Or it might be a number five again or a neighbor of five which is 10, 24, and also, uh, what's the other neighbors of five? I forgot. I think 13 is one of them. It's not too far off, but yeah, it's going to land in one of them sections. Let's see if we're right about that. Eh, I was off. Nine. Red number. It's looking like we're going on a little red trend here. Okay, I'm going to say this is this is going to be another first dozen number. It's going to be... Wait, no, no, no. I'm, I'm going to take that back. All right, it could be 6, 34, definitely it could be 27. It's going to be a high number, 31, 22, or perhaps 9 again. And uh, either 13, 36, or 30, or perhaps 8 or 11 again. Let's see if we're right. No, we're wrong. That's actually my last prediction on the, on the last round. I thought it was going to be in the zero, the zero section. All right, so we're 0 for 2 so far. O for 2. O for 2. Actually, not really, because I did say it was going to be a high number on this spin, so I'm right with that one. All right. Okay. Where are we going to go after 26? I'm going to say 10 is going to be the number. Or neighbor of 10. 23, 8, 11, 36, 13, 6. Or perhaps it could be a repeater. Uh, I was right somewhat. Neighbor of six thirty four. Not bad. This is actually pretty fun, spectating and trying to predict where the ball is gonna land. Okay, it's going to go back to a black number, and that black number is going to be 13. Or 6. If not a black number, it will be 27, 23, or 32, or number 3, or, 30, or 35 is a black number, but... I, one of them numbers. And that's 25. Kind of on a cold streak there. I'm not doing good with the predictions. But then again, it's still a high number, though. 
we're going to switch the dozen. It's going to be a second dozen number. 21. And the hedge. I'm, I'm, you know what I'm going to do now? I'm going to do. I'm going to act like I'm placing bets right now. Right now on this table, I'll pick 21. Second column. And uh, I'll do a six line bet with one, two, three, four, five, six, and 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. That's what I would do. And repeater 25. And I would have been dead wrong on. It. Actually, no, I, did, I said second column, right? I would have, I would have won with that. So, yeah, I would have won with that one. Most of the money would have been on the second column. Okay. We're going to, and I also did say it was going to switch to dozen, right? Second dozen, second column. Yeah, that would have been right, yeah. We're going to go back to the third dozen. We're going to be hedging it with the black color and odd number. So third dozen, black, odd. That would have probably most likely been a break even because I got the dozen correct, but the color and the odd was wrong. So most likely I would have broke even with that spin, depending on how much money I would put on the color and the, um, the odd. But I'm going to say now we're going to go to number 23. 8, 11, 30. One of those numbers will come out. And I'll hedge it by picking 26. The color red. And uh, the second column again. With the number zero as a hedge as well. And I will be right. <laughs> it's 30. There you go. Now you guys see why I be winning so much money. Even though this table's rigged as hell. I still find ways to win. I would have won that. That's crazy. I would have had mad money on that actually. All right, we're going to go to number five. It's going to be a number in the second column. And I'll hedge it with 10, 24, 22. And I'll do a six line bet with the four, with uh, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And, you know, And I'll bet on the zero too. That's what I would have done. And again, I would have won. I said six line bet. Wait, no, I thought that was um, 12. I think that would have been a loss, right? Yeah, that would have been a loss because I don't think I had the 21 covered on that, on that uh, initial bet that I said. All right, so that would have been a loss after winning big with the number 30. All right, we'll still be profitable, though, if I was betting. Okay, so it hit 21. It's going to switch to a black number now. So it's going to be either number 2, number 4, number 15, 35, or 22 and I will hedge it by picking the repeater 21 25 to corner the two and I'll definitely pick number 12 Ooh, 
Ooh, the zero. I would have had the zero covered too. I, I, I like to always cover the zero. If you watch my videos, most of the time I cover the zero. So I most likely would have had that. All right, now. We will be profitable right now if we were betting. After zero. All right. Since we're on a red trend. Just to be safe, obviously, cover the zero again because repeaters happen. And then we'll go to put the big money on 10 and then hedge it by doing a split bet with uh, five and six. Bet on 24. Uh, bet on even and place a bet on number 11, 15, and 35, and 31. And look at that. <laughs> Profit again. We will be up thousands right now if, if we were betting that's crazy okay uh i'm gonna say this ball is gonna swing it's gonna swing to the second dozen second column i'm gonna say number 17 22 i mean no 22 is in the first column 17, 20, hedge it with the 9 and the 6, and the 27, 34, repeater 31, and put big money on the 13 and go back to zero as well, and hedge it with the black, pick black as a big hedge, put a lot of money on black and hedge it with those numbers that I just said. And I think I'm wrong because I didn't say 36. I would have been wrong on that. So after winning big on that 31, I would have been off. All right. That's not a problem, though. Because here's how I would get them. Let me just do an example on here, right here, right now. I will do a street bet with 13, 14, 15. Street bet with 34, 35, 36. Double that. Bet on the number six. Bet on the number 31. Hedge it with the first column. And red. Red first column and those numbers I just said. I forgot exactly the numbers. So much options. Did I say street bet with four, five, and six or no? I don't think I said that. Did I? Actually, no, I did not. So I would have been off twice. Now, usually when I'm off twice on the spin, I'll take a spin off. But since we're doing... Since we're playing guessing on... Actually, no, uh, that was four, right? I did say the first column, so I would have been up. I, I, I would have, uh, you know, I, I, I think I would have had a slight loss on that. Not even break even. I would have still lost because I had a lot of other options, but I, I had the first column covered. All right, so we're going to take a break on this spin. We're not going to make any predictions here. Because, you know, even when I have a slight loss after three bets, I'll take a spin off. And see where the ball is going. Alright, so it just did some rigged ass crap. And hit 34. I didn't like the way that ball spin. Just right there. But since it hit 34, we're back in range where I like to be. So, we're gonna bet on the third column. We're gonna... What the heck is going on? Your game session has expired. Come on, man. I was having fun making predictions. Let me back out. I guess I got to back out and go back in. 
I guess they'll kick you off if, if you're not betting. I don't know what's going on. All right, these guys clearly are no fun, so. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna see if the up lobby's working. Oh, I know what they're doing. <laughs> they don't want me to spectate their lobby. They wanna kick me out. Because they, they fear that I might place bets and start kicking their ass again. <laughs> <laughs> right, this is American roulette, though. I'm not really all that. I mean, let me not say that. I've won a lot of money on American roulette. It's not my favorite, though. I like, I prefer European. This ball's going to land next to the zero section, though. The regular zero. I was wrong. In between. I just came in here, though, so that don't count. All right, so I don't really know the neighbors like that on uh, the American like that. However, I will say that it's going to hit 13. No, no, not 13. 24, 8. 2, 1, 27, 28. Zero double zero twelve seventeen four twenty six and thirty five. Let's see if we're close on that. Did I say thirty one? I don't think I said 31. All right, you know what? I'm not a big fan of American roulette, so I'm going to back out. And I'm going to try and see if these guys work again. I don't like American roulette like that. All right, they work. All right, six hit. You know what? Just for shits and giggles, just for sport, I'm going to place bets. I wanted to place a bet on uh, 27. That will be funny if I'm actually right about the 34, though. <laughs> they didn't let me get time to place a bet. On the 27. I think I got to place best to, to be able to stay in the lobby, though. But like I said, for craps and giggles, we'll place some 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 small bets. Just for fun. That was rigged. Big time rigged. <clears throat> How would you counter that three if you were playing?
All right. Just for fun, a little bonus. I'll play for a little bit and win. Because I'm just that good. Won't be surprised if it hits that repeater. 32, like I said, we will win. Like I said, play for fun. Get a little bonus at the end. <laughs> it's just that easy, man. But anyways, that's what I wanted to do. Spectate and get a little bonus at the end. We did just that and we're done for the day.